life itself has no limitations. The only obstacle for achieving something is believing that there is one. Our greatness is driven by the power of love. The physical manifestation of our eternal greatness can be revealed through art. The art is inspired by the miracle of life and it shines through you, me, through everything we do. Once when it's created, it has a life that cannot be measured. We can say that we are capable of creating a living art, capable of living the art, or even living for the art. But in the end, we are indeed a piece of living art. Hey everyone, I'm so happy that you're here for my next Fates Awards Balkan Top 10 Challenge, Living Art. I found my inspiration in this beautiful world surrounding us. I would just like to mention that the voting period is now open and you can vote starting now, August 22nd, till August 28th by going to facewardsbalkan.com slash hr. And I'm so grateful for your support. It means a world to me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey guys, so today I'm turning this room into UV galaxy room and this will look awesome under the black light. So stay tuned. Basically, the idea for the first look was to emerge myself as a part of galaxy. And since I realized I'm going to need a lot of space to make this happen, I decided to paint my walls into a black background and turn everything into galaxy. However, the biggest limitation while working with the black light is that the only light source that you actually have is black light. And it is so hard for the camera to capture everything with such a small light source. So, in the middle of everything, I realized I need so much UV light coming in to be able to capture everything that I'm doing. Otherwise, your picture will look blurry and it will just not look good. So, what you're looking at right now is me creating a multiple layers of different colors. I'm starting off with a mix of purple and pinkish color blending it as much as I can into this wall. While I'm blending, I'm focusing to blend the edges of the color that I've applied. Second layer I did with blue color, emerging that color into the purple also, as well as all around the lines that I've already done with the purple color. I have also emphasized some parts of this picture with a titanium white color. For the finishing touch, I used a toothbrush to apply some stars and then I applied also bigger stars with the tip of the brush. Now it is time to paint myself into black color with NYX SFX cream color in black, which will be my base for this entire look that I'm doing. I have also used jumbo eye pencil in black all around my eyes and into my waterline. And now it is time for some magic. I'm actually following the same steps, same pattern that I did on this wall. I'm doing the same on myself, but it is different because the SFX reacts differently with the colors than when I apply them on the wall which is actually great because the color will blend so beautifully on top of your skin. I'm also switching between NYX Professional Makeup Brushes number 13 and 16 to help me apply and blend all this color on myself. And also brush number 11 was perfect for creating a bigger stars. So for the next look, I knew I wanted to do something with a transparent plastic material because of the UV light and how it reflects. This is actually a plastic window foil and this, it was just perfect for what I wanted to achieve. I cut around 20 stripes and then I made all the edges round. To be able to achieve multiple layers where one color goes 
through the other and then adding some more color on top of it I had to go with the airbrush because that was the only way I could have achieved layering the colors and yet see through them and then add some strong color on top of everything to make it look like the main color is coming through other colors Before I started sewing my dress, I took every piece of fabric and made it curlier so that my dress would have volume. So the second look I did everything with the airbrush merging different styles, texture and intensity of colors. Recreating also on myself the design on that fabric that I've just made. Let me just mention how careful you have to be once you've applied your base color underneath like I'm doing here on my arms. Once you go with other color on top, you cannot afford to make any mistakes because if you have to erase anything, you will erase the color underneath and you just cannot go back. So you'll have to, you know, just remove everything and then go from the beginning. And it is time to connect colors between lower and upper part of my dress to make it look like one sequence. I'm also protecting my dress because I have to avoid any additional color messed up my dress and trust me the airbrush color goes all over the place. <laughs> And this is the final look. I am in love with this result. I love the way it turned out and I love how colors beautifully reflect under the black light.